Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will start the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. See, in this video, I will give the basic concepts on eigenvalues and eigenvectors. See, first one is characteristic matrix of the given matrix. If A is a square matrix of order n, already you know that square matrix means the number of rows and number of columns are equal in the given matrix A. Then the matrix A minus lambda i n, then the matrix A minus lambda i n is called characteristic matrix of the given matrix A. For example, I will take a 2 by 2 matrix. So 2, 3, 5, minus 4. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. So I want to find out characteristic matrix of this matrix. According to this definition, since this is a 2 by 2 matrix, A minus lambda I2 is called characteristic matrix. See, first write 2 as usually, sorry, capital A as usually, 2, 3, 5, minus 4, minus lambda into, what is I2? Second order entry matrix. This would be, 2, 3, 5, minus 4, minus, take this lambda to inside and multiply each and every term. So, lambda into 1, lambda, lambda times of 0 is 0, 0, again lambda here. Just you can subtract the corresponding elements. 2 minus lambda, 3 minus 0, 5 minus 0, 5, minus 4, minus lambda. This is called characteristic matrix of the given matrix A. Now I will give another example. See. This time I will consider a 3 by 3 matrix. 3, minus 2, 0, 1, 5, 2, 3, 7, minus 6. Okay. So its characteristic equation is A minus <coughs> lambda I3. Just you can you can sub, subtract the diagonal elements with lambda. It's enough. It is not necessary to write every time a minus lambda i. Okay, directly I will write the answer of the a minus lambda i3. See, 3 minus lambda minus 2, 0, 1, 5 minus lambda. The remaining are all same. Just you have to subtract the diagonal elements, principal diagonal elements with lambda. The remaining are all same. 3, 7, minus 6 minus lambda. This matrix is called characteristic matrix of the given matrix A. Now the next definition is characteristic polynomial. Okay. Recently we saw the characteristic matrix. The determinant of characteristic matrix is called characteristic polynomial because the determinant of this characteristic gives a polynomial of degree n in terms of lambda okay this polynomial is called characteristic polynomial of the matrix a once again see the definition if a is a square matrix of order n then clearly determinant of characteristic matrix a minus lambda n gives a polynomial of degree n in terms of lambda because we are taking a is a square matrix of order n by n if you take a 2 by 2 matrix then its characteristic matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix. Its debt is a polynomial of second degree in terms of lambda. If you take a third order matrix, then determinant of a minus lambda i3 gives a cubic polynomial. That cubic polynomial is called characteristic polynomial. Okay? Don't forget it. Next characteristic equation. <coughs> Sorry. If a is a square matrix if a is a square matrix of order n then determinant of characteristic matrix is equal to 0 if you equate this z is equal to 0 you will get an algebraic equation in terms of lambda of degree n that equation is called characteristic equation okay clearly here we are observing that characteristic equation has exactly n roots that n roots are called eigenvalues okay that is the next definition See one more important point, the degree of the characteristic equation 
of the square matrix A is equal to its order. Suppose given matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix, then its characteristic equation is a quadratic equation. If it is a 3 by 3 matrix, then its characteristic equation is a cubic equation. Okay, degree of the characteristic equation is equal to order of, order of the matrix. Okay, don't forget it. See the next definition. This is very, very important definition. Just you can remember that the formula for characteristic equation is determinant of a minus lambda is equal to 0. At least you have to remember this one. Characteristic equation formula is determinant of a minus lambda is equal to 0. This is a algebraic equation in terms of lambda. Okay. The equation in terms of lambda is called characteristic equation. It is a universal notation. If a is a square matrix of order n, then the roots of characteristic equation determinant of a minus lambda n is equal to 0 are called eigenvalues of the matrix A. Don't forget it. Very, very important. Sometimes eigenvalues are also known as latent roots and characteristic roots. All are same. Okay. The number of eigenvalues of the given square matrix A is equal to its order. That is, if A is a square matrix of order N, then capital A has exactly N eigenvalues. If A is a 2 by 2 matrix, if A is a 2 by 2 matrix, then the number of eigenvalues of A are 2 only. Capital A has only 2 eigenvalues. If A is a square matrix of order 3, then capital A has exactly 3 eigenvalues. Don't forget it. And here some properties are there. <coughs> properties of eigenvalues. The sum of eigenvalues. The sum of eigenvalues of a given matrix A is trace of A. Sum of eigenvalues of A is nothing but trace of A. And the product of eigenvalues is nothing but det A. For example, you can take capital A as a 3 by 3 matrix. Then it has exactly three eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. According to this property, lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3, sum of all eigenvalues should be trace of A. What is trace of A? Sum of diagonals. And the product of the eigenvalues should be equal to determinant of the matrix A. Don't forget it. Very, very important property of eigenvalues. <coughs> See the next one. If A is A, if A is an upper triangular matrix or lower triangular matrix or a diagonal matrix, then the eigenvalues are just its diagonal elements. Okay, the proofs of these properties are not necessary. However, I will try to explain proofs of properties at the end of this chapter. First point, I will take a matrix here. You can see the examples. 3, minus 4, 0, 5, 6, 0, 0, minus 2. I am taking this as a, this is the given matrix. We are observing that all elements below the principal diagonal elements are 0. That is why this is the an upper triangular matrix. You know it. This is an upper triangular matrix. For this type of matrices, it is not necessary to calculate characteristic equation to get the eigenvalues. Just by seeing, we can easily tell that what are the eigenvalues. Just the diagonal elements of the eigenvalues. 2, 5, this is very, very important property. In many online examinations, you may face this type of problems. Okay, 2, 5, minus 2 are the eigenvalues. Now, I will give you another example. Let A is equal to, this time, I will take a lower triangular matrix, minus 1, 0, 0, 2, 3, 0, 0, 4, 5. We are observing that all elements above the diagonal elements, this element, this element, 0. That's why this is a lower triangular matrix. In this case also, we can easily tell the eigenvalues. Just diagonal elements are the eigenvalues, minus 1, 3, Five. Without finding characteristic equation, we can easily tell that what are the eigenvalues for triangular upper triangular matrix, otherwise lower triangular matrix, otherwise a diagonal matrix. What is meant by a diagonal matrix? Except diagonal elements remaining are all same. 
sorry, remaining are all zeros. 2, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 4. This is a diagonal matrix. So what are the eigenvalues? 2, minus 1, 4. Just diagonal elements are the eigenvalues. There are many properties for eigenvalues and eigenvectors. After completion of the problems, I will say the proofs of properties of eigenvalues also, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. See the last definition, eigenvectors. See the definition, very, very important. For every eigenvalue, for every eigenvalue, lambda of a square matrix, capital A, there exists a non-zero solution, x1, for the homogeneous, sorry, this is not non-homogeneous, for the homogeneous system, a minus lambda i n into x is equal to o. So, in general, homogeneous system is represented by x is equal to o. Here, a is called coefficient matrix. Here, coefficient matrix is nothing but a minus lambda i n. Okay, the, the non-zero solution of this system, the non-zero solution of this homogeneous system is called eigenvector. Okay, this non-zero solution, x1 is called eigenvector of the matrix A corresponding to the eigenvalues of lambda. See one thing here, suppose capital A is a 3 by 3 matrix, then it has exactly 3 eigenvalues. Lambda 1, Lambda 2, Lambda 3. For every eigenvalue, there exists a eigenvector. Don't forget it. For every eigenvalue, there is a eigenvector for the given matrix A. This eigenvector is nothing but, you can remember very simply, eigenvector is nothing but non-zero solution of this system. Very simple. Eigenvector is the non-zero solution of the given homogeneous system A minus lambda n into x is equal to o. Okay, most of the people can return as this one as a minus lambda i only. It is not necessary to write every time it is uh, i n. Okay, in the next video, I will give the problems on eigenvalues and eigenvectors. I hope you are all understand. If anybody have the doubts regarding eigenvalues and eigenvectors, see the problem also. Surely your doubt will be cleared. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.